afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Hunter Bradshaw. I'm a resident advisor uh, in O'Shaughnessy. This is my second year. Um, you know, I guess a little background. Uh, my freshman year, uh, you could say that I was an introvert, big time. Uh, I didn't like to, to expand or to really do anything like this. Uh, actually, I'd pretty much be caught dead doing something like this. But through my interactions with the university, uh, I've developed uh, I mean, I've developed and do a courageous leader. And I, I would have done uh, the panel on Diprosum because I'm uh, very passionate about the Active Return for People program here. But I wanted to talk about uh, how important it is to develop not just leadership, but courageous leadership because it's so important in the lives of, uh, of students as future professionals. Um, over the course of this year, I've learned a lot through my resident advisor position that uh, sometimes it's okay to challenge people. And challenge, and it takes a certain degree of courage that I never thought that I would have. And through my discussions with uh, people and student affairs, I've really learned a lot about having courage. Um, I feel like I'm rambling and using that word a lot, but uh, it's, it's just such a vital part of our development to develop that sense of courage. Hunter, what was the toughest challenge that you had to face um, maybe with somebody on your own? Um, actually, to give, a, to give a kind of bigger example of, of how this has affected me, uh, I, uh, or a, a couple weeks ago, we had, uh, we learned that our housekeeping staff was going to be moved around in a couple of weeks. Uh, this was back in March. And we, I mean, we weren't very happy about that. We were wondering, why are they moving them around now? They're, they're vital part, they're pieces of our community. And I mean, for example, our housekeeper, his name is Earl Johnson. He's number one, the nicest man I've ever met. He's like a second father to me. And we actually visited him in the hospital over uh, last August because he had a brain aneurysm. And our entire RA staff drove down to see him. He's that important to our community and to us. And they were gonna move him to a different building. So another RA and I said, you know what? We're not gonna let, we can't let this happen. We can't sit down and, and let it happen. We're gonna, we, got, we have got to do something. So uh, he and I scheduled meetings with everyone up the chain uh, of student affairs. And honestly, that was the most uh, <laughs> nerve wracking experience of my life because I was challenging some of the people uh, who I admire greatly, and most, and let me just say, a, a lot of people in this room have really inspired me over the last uh, two and a half years, and uh, you all don't know how much I appreciate their, their help. But uh, that was one of the that, most, was, that was one of the toughest uh, things I've done, and it, but that particular incident really taught me that courageous leadership is something that is vital to students. Great example. Everyone, my name is Danielle. I'm a graduating. Um, after hearing the curiosity panel, like she said, I thought, oh God, I should have done curiosity. But <laughs> after, what I originally chose leadership because um, within the description it said, leadership to make a more humane and just world, which is what I basically dedicated my time here at Virginia Tech to. And that started with curiosity in a uh, Dr. Wiseman's class. If anyone is familiar, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And that led me to attend a conference in Washington, D.C. my freshman or sophomore year, and from then I thought I have to do something along this line. So a friend and I came back from a conference and we established the Virginia Tech Stand chapter. And I can't say we have a huge following now, but we have a much bigger fan base now, I guess you can say. We started out doing film screenings about violence in the Congo and violence in southern Sudan and in Darfur. And this past year, we were able to bring two huge speakers here, which I'm still, I, I freak out when I think about it because uh, activists are kind of like my celebrities. So we brought uh, Valentino Echek Deng here, who is the inspiration for David Eggers, What is the What? It's an incredible novel. Um, we also brought Emma Congo, he's a Congolese poet here just a few weeks ago. Um, he did an amazing performance. And Virginia Tech is not what I expected it to be. I didn't come here because it was my first choice because I had thought about it since I was a little girl. 
a, a big campus, but in Southwest Virginia. Um, working with professors and people in um, the Division of Student Affairs has helped me do more leadership than I ever anticipated. Um, this past summer, I went to Uganda. I taught in a school in Kampala. I did research in northern Uganda, and um, it was formerly a war-affected area. Um, brought that back, was able to share that with a number of students. Um, through presentations with um, student affairs and with multicultural uh, programs and 